Buying quality performance parts for your car is usually pretty expensive. It's not like you can just try it out ahead of time. You can talk to your buddies or read reviews, and that might make you feel confident about what you're buying. But if you could actually see the engineering that goes on behind the scenes, that really shows you the quality of the product. Luckily, we've got this cool blue Raptor behind me. One of our engineers is working on an intercooler kit right now. So let's go check it out. Hey, what's up, Chris? What's going on, Adam? This is Chris Mitchell. He's one of our mechanical engineers at Cobb, so he designs a lot of the parts. He's working on the Raptor today. Uh, show me what you're working on. Uh, so I just got done uh, taking a look at this um, bypass valve that Ford has integrated into their intercooler, and uh, I need to find a way to uh, basically reproduce what they have here. So I'm actually going to take this part, and I'm going to bring it in and use this ferro arm uh, to scan this so that I can make the female side of it so that we can have that integrated into our intercooler system. Is this kind of a unique design? I mean, it's a bypass valve. Most turbo car guys know what a bypass valve looks like. Most of them don't look like that. Yeah. What's going on with this one that's different? So they just have a different thread pattern. It takes like a between a half and a, a quarter turn to get it to lock in. And so we obviously want them to be able to use this on theirs, uh, on our kit that we provide, uh, as well as an aftermarket one. You mentioned using this ferro arm earlier. These 3D scanners are super cool. So it's cool to show customers how you guys use them and what kind of uh, benefits it helps with engineering to make your job a lot easier. So tell me about it. So this is a 3D scanner and uh, we use it mostly to get our mounting locations and stuff like that and kind of give ourselves an envelope to work within, within SolidWorks. So uh, it's a really important tool that we have here and um, it makes it a lot easier uh, than just making, physically making a part and putting it in, finding out it doesn't fit, pulling it back out and repeating that process. So this reduces the, uh, I guess, number of iterations that it takes for us to get something to actually work out. So you can do mock-ups and, and uh, pre-prep on the computer before you actually have to physically put anything on the car. Exactly. So we can, we can get a full image of the uh, open space here in this case, and we can pull that up in the computer. Uh, we can actually pull mounting points that we want to use uh, from there and see them all within uh, SolidWorks on the computer and use those to model things off of. And then we can go into actually prototyping them rather than doing that repeatedly. What, uh, how do you really, how do you use it? What's the steps? What, like obviously the, the short version. I mean, obviously you hook it up to the computer, so there's software. Uh, we use GeoMagic software um, on there. You can actually just scan across your, you know, whatever, wherever you're working. And there's, you know, you gotta learn how to use it. There's a few little things you have to know how to do for first with it, but you can essentially just come across and scan the entire area you're working within and it'll just steadily pull in data from this and you'll have something to work with in no time. And as you're scanning, you can actually see the, the lasers that are picking up the shapes and the dimensions of everything and it's generating it on the computer in real time, right? Exactly. And so and then you can go back to your desk and you can essentially work on the truck from your desk. That is it. Awesome. That is it. What about, you've got the mock-up on here. We've got our uh, 3D printed in, uh, in tanks on the intercooler. This is obviously just for fitment, right? This, uh, obviously yes. this isn't a core, but um, what have you got right here? Tell me more about this. So after doing a scan with this, uh, I've got an approximate size for the core that I want to use. Um, and the end tanks, like you said, they're 3D printed. So uh, I was able to put them on there and kind of determine how they were going to fit within there so that I can kind of continue on. As you can see, uh, I've run into a little bit of a fitment issue here. Uh -huh. So I'm going to do a little bit more scanning and uh, pull that into my computer and see if I can model something that's going to actually fit into this vehicle uh, better than how I have it modeled up right now. What about the intake itself? Uh, they're 3D printed. Do we do, how do you guys use that day to day? So 3D printing is obviously uh, very useful for us. It allows us to quickly uh, produce a part that's to scale, very accurate, and put it on the vehicle and test it out without having to pay for all the tooling and the costs associated with actually getting an end tank made cool. or any other part for that matter. And it seems like a lot of this is fitment related. Obviously that's the first step. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't matter how well it works, but when someone buys a part, they want it to make the car faster. So it needs right. to be more efficient, it needs to work. What kind of combination of these tools and other things do you use to actually test performance as opposed to just fitment and looks? So we use uh, the flow simulation add-on within SolidWorks to uh, test out all of the uh, flow characteristics of the end tanks. Um, that's how we, uh, at least how I arrived at the design for this shape of these end tanks. So with that, we can actually see the distribution of air coming in from the hot side to the cold side and make sure that it's being distributed evenly across the whole uh, height of the core. Awesome. So. 
Uh, seems like you made good progress so far. What's the next step from where we're at right now? So what I'm going to do next is I've got all my mounting locations uh, fine. It looks like that's all going to fit within the grill uh, when the truck is reassembled. Uh, the issue right now is that the end tanks uh, have some clearance issues with part of the uh, front bumper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scan with all this stuff in here right now uh, and give myself something to work from. And I'm going to design some end, uh, the rest of the end tanks and make sure that they don't run into anything down there and that they've got a clear path to the uh, stock piping within the truck. Cool. And I guess from there, once we know it fits, we get an actual core, the same yeah. size. We get some actual uh, metal end tanks as opposed to these printed ones they probably wouldn't hold much pressure then we slap it on and that goes to calibration and they start dyno testing you right exactly that's awesome. that is the process cool well hopefully that gave you guys some insight as to what really goes on behind the scenes there's obviously even more things that happen with different parts but thanks chris i'll let you get back to work all right adam later man